Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a really good feeling about this video. We're gonna be trying out a new foundation. Sephora has been doing these crazy sales lately where they're putting a ton of product on sale for like up to 50% off. And so every time I get the emails, I just click through and I look at everything they're offering. I've got tons of good stuff from these sales lately. And when Will and I were in Vancouver recently, they put one on and I was just casually scrolling through all of the products that they had on sale and I saw that they had a foundation on there that I've been wanting to try for so long now. I've seen one of my favorite celebrity makeup artists recommend this foundation a couple of times and he specifically mentions that it's great for bridal. For anybody new here, I am a freelance makeup artist and I've been on the search for over two years for a foundation for my freelance kit to replace the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation, which has been discontinued for a little while now. And I feel like this one could be the one. This is the Lancome Tint Edal Ultra Wear. It says up to 24 hour wear foundation, breathable coverage. And it's got this little indicator on the bottom here that shows that it's four dots out of four in terms of coverage. So we've got a full coverage long wear foundation from Lancome. So if this sounds familiar to anybody, my project tan pan for the year, one of the products that I wanted to use up was this guy right here, which I have used up. This is the Lancome Tin Miracle Foundation. So this is more of a medium coverage foundation with a dewy finish but also a foundation from Lancome that I loved. So I have super high hopes for this guy right here and we're gonna do a little wear test with it today. I'm gonna apply it now and then show you guys how it wears throughout the day. Give you some first impressions and then some thoughts after a full day of wear. So it's not my favorite packaging. I feel like it's a little bit kind of old lady-ish. That's okay. Uh, there is a sticker on the bottom here, which I'm gonna see if I can peel off. I'm assuming that means it's gonna tell me that there is SPF in here. Yes, sunscreen, broad spectrum, SPF 25. In Canada, the rules surrounding SPF are very strict. Brands aren't allowed to claim uh, that they have a certain level of sunscreen in foundations because you don't apply enough foundation in order to achieve the uh, SPF that they say that they have in their product. So if you're in Canada, you'll often notice a lot of your foundations will have a sticker covering the claim that there's sunscreen in their product. So as a makeup artist who does a lot of events where people are having their photos taken, I don't like to use products that have a high SPF in them, but because this is only an SPF 25, I think that this will be okay for flash photography, but it will be something that we'll test out today to make sure that we don't get any flashback in any flash photos. So this foundation normally sells for $68, so definitely a big spender. And I have mine in the shade 235N. The Lancome website says that this is a 24 hour breathable full coverage foundation with undetectable full coverage and a natural matte finish, adapting to every skin shade and skin concern. Our thinnest, most breathable foundation, sweat proof and transfer resistant, perfect shade match. What makes it different? A renovated formula made for all skin types and skin tones from dry, sensitive to oily and acne prone skin covers seamlessly all imperfections, concentrated with hyaluronic acid and 81% skincare serum, protects the skin barrier against urban aggressors. So I've already prepped my skin. I put on some of the Istree Mugwort Saver Ampoule and Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. This is how I always prep my skin and how I always do it for my clients as well. I'm not gonna use any type of primer today. I typically just prime with skincare. And I'm gonna go ahead and just apply the foundation. It comes with a nice little pump, of course. And I'm gonna start with just one pump and then we'll go from there. So here you can see the texture of the foundation. It's actually a lot lighter than I was expecting it to be. I thought it might be a little bit of a thicker foundation just because of the full coverage matte claims. But if this still can give a full coverage with a nice light texture, that would be lovely. So I'm gonna start with a little bit here and go ahead and apply it with my makeup sponge. The foundation that I'm trying to replace in my makeup kit is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Foundation. It is a medium, buildable to full coverage foundation with a demi-matte finish. 
and I love it. It works for everyone and it is the most beautiful foundation that I've ever tried. I've done a ton of videos trying to find something comparable to replace it with in my kit. So I'll link some of those other videos down below if anybody wants to see some other foundation first impressions. But it, I've been on the hunt for a couple of years now. And something that I find really exciting about this foundation is the fact that it has hyaluronic acid in it. So there is just one pump. It did not cover my entire face. I just got both cheeks done with that. So I'm going to go ahead and do a second pump and apply that to my forehead. So Charlotte Tilbury's Magic Foundation has hyaluronic filling spears, which is the same thing as hyaluronic acid. And I believe that that is one of the reasons why that foundation is so amazing is because when you put it on, it pulls moisture from the air all day, which makes the foundation look better and better the longer you wear it. So as opposed to a lot of other foundations where you apply them and then they look worse and worse throughout the day, I find that magic foundation looks better and better because this foundation also has hyaluronic acid in it. I'm hoping that we're going to get a similar effect. I don't need this foundation to be exactly the same as Magic Foundation. I just want it to have some other similar features. So more of a matte finish, the ability to be long wear, the ability to be buildable, so to be able to go on as a medium coverage and then build up to something full coverage. And there is one light layer of the foundation. I still have a little bit on the back of my hand here, so I'd say that's about a pump and a half of product. My skin is not doing 100% at the moment. I'm not sure if you can see, but I've got a little bit of texture on my forehead and I've got some down here as well. So we'll keep an eye on that as we apply. So far, it's definitely feeling more lightweight than Magic Foundation. It literally feels like I have nothing on my skin, but I can already tell it's done a great job of covering up the redness I had in my forehead. Forehead was looking quite red before and that's completely gone. We still have a little bit of glow showing through from my skin prep underneath, which is also very important to me and yeah it's so far it just feels really lightweight it's definitely more of a medium coverage with just that light application there's a little bit of darkness showing through from some of the hyperpigmentation and discoloration that I have in my skin um, and that is actually something that I'm looking for I do want it to start out as a medium coverage and then be buildable to full so there's that first light layer what I'm gonna do is just do maybe another half pump on the back of my hand here and we're gonna go ahead and just build up the coverage in a couple of areas where I feel like I might like a little bit more coverage and see how buildable the product is although it's letting that glow come through I would say this is definitely fully a matte foundation, which is good. For weddings and events, I like more of a matte foundation for majority of people just because it's going to be more long wearing. If someone has super dry skin or they really want a super light coverage or they have more mature skin, then I might use a more glowy foundation. The Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation is the one that I have in my kit for that purpose. But for the most part, in terms of longevity and for most, skin types I am looking for something more on the matte side which this definitely is I tried to order something darker because I have like a lot of color in my skin I've been out in the sun a ton this summer but it's actually too light for me at the moment however I think the undertone is really good and so this color will be good for me more in the winter and spring which are the seasons that we have coming up here so that's totally fine it's just going to be a little bit light for my skin tone at the moment it's funny I was trying to go darker so be aware of that if you're color matching yourself the shades online look a little bit darker than they are in person. So I'd say that was definitely buildable. It built up on top of itself and increased the coverage a little bit without looking cakey or heavy at all. What I'm gonna go ahead and do is apply some concealer and then we will come back to powder together. 
Alright, so I went in with some concealer underneath my eyes and then I did find myself wanting to do a little bit of spot concealing as well. There are just a few dark spots and like some leftover acne from a couple of days ago that I just wanted to add a little bit more coverage to. So that does tell me that it is not the most full coverage foundation out there, although it claims to be totally full coverage. I would say something like the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation is more full coverage than this. So just keep that in mind. It is not like the most full coverage foundation foundation out there, but I would definitely still call it a full coverage foundation. Interestingly enough, I'm feeling like I don't really even need to set it, um, although I am going to because I always set my foundation and I would always set foundation on my clients as well just to make sure that it's nice and long wear and that it locks in for the whole day but I'm definitely going to want to try this again without setting it so if you guys aren't subscribed to my channel make sure you're subscribed and I'll try it again in another video probably a vlog and I'm not going to set it and see how it wears throughout the day however for the purpose of today's video I am going to set it because that is what I would normally do so first thing I'm going to do is just take my Charlotte Tilbury airbrush powder and set underneath my eyes and lock that concealer in and then I'll add a little bit more powder to my brush and start by setting the t-zone so through the center of my forehead and my nose my nose is where I get the most kind of sweaty throughout the day so I like to make sure I have a good amount of powder on there then we're going to set the smile lines and along my jaw and then just with whatever powder is left on my brush I'll go ahead and really lightly set the rest of my face as well. So here's how we're looking with everything set down. It's definitely more of a matte finish than I typically go for on myself on a day to day basis. However, like I've mentioned a bunch of times already, I am looking for something more matte for my kit. So that is all good. I'm feeling like I actually really like the amount of coverage and the finish. Although it is matte, it's looking quite skin-like and quite natural. So I'm gonna go ahead and just finish my makeup for the day and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like with the rest of my makeup applied and I will show you what it looks like in natural lighting as well. Okay, so here is how we are looking with the rest of my makeup on. I'm gonna have all of the products that I used on the rest of my face linked in the description box down below if you're curious. I did set my makeup with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I always set my makeup with setting spray and I use this exact one in my kit as well and I would use it on every client. So I want to see how this makeup wears with this setting spray. Here is a look at how everything is looking. I did apply a little bit of highlight just to the tops of my cheekbones but I didn't add it anywhere else because I want to pay attention to the glow that my skin gets as we go on throughout the day or doesn't get depending on how the foundation wears but yeah here's how we are looking it's definitely more matte than I'm typically used to wearing on myself I think I did mention that already but I'm gonna sit in it I'm gonna live in it I'm hoping that the hyaluronic acid is gonna pull a little bit of moisture into it as the day goes on let me show you what it looks like in natural lighting alrighty so here's how we are looking in the natural lighting I'll come up nice and close so from what I'm seeing in the little viewfinder here, we are looking quite flawless and I really don't have too much product on my face in order to achieve that look. So that's really great. Also really happy with the amount of glow that is coming through on my forehead. I feel like that looks really pretty and very natural. Yeah, so far first impressions is that we are quite full coverage, quite flawless, and that a lot of the natural glow is coming through from my skincare underneath. So those are two really good signs. It's definitely feeling a little bit more matte on my skin than I'm typically used to, so we're gonna pay attention to that throughout the day. But yeah, so far, so good, yay. So I'm gonna continue to wear this throughout the day and we'll do a few check-ins as I remember, uh, as some time goes by. I also am gonna do a workout later today and I typically would not work out in my makeup or recommend that you work out in your makeup, but because it's supposed to be like sweat resistant and transfer resistant and I'm looking for something that people can wear throughout their weddings while they're like going crazy dancing on the dance floor and stuff I want to see how it performs after my workout so we're gonna test it like fully at the end of the day as well so stay tuned I'll see you guys for my next update okay 
Okay, hi. It's 2.45. I realized that I forgot to mention in the previous clips that I finished applying my makeup at around 11. So it's been almost four hours of wearing the foundation and I was just looking at it in the bathroom and I was thinking that I wasn't going to do an update right now because basically nothing has changed. But then I realized that that's actually a really good update to make. So the foundation has been on for almost four hours now and one thing that I really want to point out is the creasing in my smile lines. So I typically get really bad creasing in the lines here on the side of my face when I wear a lot of different foundations. But what I find is that foundations like this one that are a really lightweight consistency that are more like liquidy and less kind of like putty e are a lot better for not settling in my smile lines and really there's like no settling happening here whatsoever there is a little crease just from me moving my face over the last couple of hours but the foundation is not settling there which is pretty amazing like pretty spectacular i also remembered that i forgot to mention that my skin is at this point normal it's not really oily anymore it's not dry because it's summertime and my skin is very like balanced so it's at a very normal place just for anybody who's wanting to compare their skin to mine it's just it's very normal so yeah, I was just looking at it in the bathroom and everything is looking really good. It basically looks exactly the same. I'd say there's maybe a little tiny bit of oil starting to come through on the side of my nose here, which is very normal for me. Like I said before, all of my oils start to come through on my nose really heavily. The glow on my forehead has increased a tiny bit, but that's actually a good thing because I was feeling like it was almost too matte when I first applied it and now that my natural oils are starting to come through and the hyaluronic acid in the foundation is probably starting to work it's starting to get a little bit more of a glow to it I did mention before that I've got a little bit of extra skin texture happening on my face at the moment compared to normal and I would say that although you can see the texture it's not emphasizing it or making it worse at all so yeah so far for the first four hours I'm really impressed it's basically almost brand new like as if I just first applied it so really really great in terms of the first four hours of wear Okay, we are post Pilates. I took this video clip as I was walking to Pilates because I was out in like the direct sunshine. So I just wanted to show how the foundation looked in that type of lighting as well. So that would have been around like quarter to five. So the foundation would have been on for like six hours at that point. Now at quarter after six, we are over seven hours of wearing the foundation and down one workout class. So you can definitely see that I was sweating. Pilates isn't like the most sweaty of a workout, but I was definitely like getting a sweat on. And you can see my forehead is pretty shiny, but honestly, it's not too bad. And the foundation hasn't broken up on my forehead at all. Same thing actually on my nose for the most part. On the very sides right here, I can see the foundation starting to break up a little bit thanks to the sweat and oil that's happening there. But honestly, you guys, it's still looking almost perfect. I can tell the coverage is starting to fade a little bit. There's a little bit less coverage on some of my breakouts down here and on a dark spot that I have right here. But for the most part, it's wearing really, really well. The most long wearing foundation that I've ever tried is this same Charlotte Tilbury one that I mentioned before, the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. This is so long wearing and I would say the way that this is wearing so far is very comparable to the longevity of this foundation right here. However, this foundation settles into my fine lines so bad and like I said, it's just like super full coverage so it's not like the perfect one for my makeup kit. This one I'm starting to get really high hopes for. I'm really happy with the way that this is looking. I'm curious how it would be on drier skin because I can see it sort of starting to look a little bit dry in like these parts of my face right here but it has been on for like over seven hours at this point so 
we're gonna continue to wear it I wouldn't say that it's absorbing moisture and like looking better and better the longer that I wear it the way that the magic foundation does but it's definitely maintaining itself for a really long time which is really great so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and make dinner and then we'll do one final check-in at the end of the night before I go and wash everything off and we'll do a flash test at that time as well Okay, my friends, it is eight o'clock and I am so ready to take my makeup off. I hate the feeling of sweating in makeup and then having the sweat dry. I just, I need to get it off. So this is going to be our final check-in. I've had the foundation on for nine hours now through a whole hour-long Pilates workout. And I'm actually very very impressed with the way that it's holding up. I can see it starting to break up a little bit around my brows here, a little bit more around my nose. The whole lack of creasing in my smile lines and in my forehead is really impressive to me. This is probably one of the best foundations that I've ever tried in terms of not having it settle into my fine lines. So I would say it would be really great for anyone who has mature skin or aging skin or just likes to make a lot of expressions throughout the day in general my bronzer and my blush and my highlight are still hanging out really well i feel like it's done a good job of holding on to the makeup that's gone on top of it it is looking a little bit dry especially around my eyes which is kind of interesting and kind of different i feel like when I'm applying my moisturizer as my primer, I kind of avoid the eye area. And so I would need to make sure the next time that I try this to really like bring my moisturizer right up to my eyes or put on an eye cream so that I have a really nice hydrated base to go under the foundation just because it's so matte. I don't know if it's going to be the one, if it's gonna be the one for my kit just because of how matte it is. It didn't get as glowy and dewy throughout the day as I was hoping it would, like the Charlotte Tilbury one does. But I'm really impressed with how lightweight it is, how long it's lasted, how well it lasted throughout my workout, the lack of creasing in my fine lines. So there are so many check marks. I think it's definitely the best one that I've tried so far to be the replacement for my freelance kit. Overall, I'm super happy with this foundation and would definitely recommend it to a ton of different people. Before I wrap up this video, I do want to just turn off my lights and do a quick flash test to check out the SPF with the flash photography. Okay, so my face does look lighter than my body in these photos, but I wouldn't say that the foundation is causing flashback. I think just the color of it is too light for like my skin tone right now. Looking actually at the foundation in these photos makes me like appreciate it even more. It looks so good. Like my skin looks so flawless in these pictures and I've literally had this on for nine hours. So I'm super impressed. I feel like it's photographing really well, which is also very important to me for having a foundation for my kit. So yeah, I'm super happy with this. I feel like this was a really big success. I'm going to continue to use this in just my day-to-day -day life and try it out under different scenarios, using it with different products underneath and different products on top, trying it out in different weather conditions and different things like that. I also would like to try and wear it for longer than a nine hour period and see how it looks longer and longer. I wanna try it without setting it. I feel like maybe it's matte enough that it doesn't need to be set. I'm super curious to try that out, so I'll be trying that out soon. If you guys are interested in seeing me continue to play around with this foundation, make sure you're subscribed because I'll be using it in future videos and future vlogs and things, so definitely don't miss out on that. And that's pretty much gonna be the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. That's gonna help more people to see it too. It's gonna help out my channel so much. I really appreciate you being here and and I will see you in my next video. Bye, you guys.